Hey guys, I wanted to make this video as kind of a follow-up to the last video that I made with the camper, kind of the build process, painting the canvas, you know, believe it or not, and kind of unfortunately, this has been probably my most requested video is like an update video on how the camper is doing. Um, we are down here, uh, Port St. Joe, Florida. This is Indian Pass campground. I'll kind of throw a drone shot up of what this place looks like, but really, really cool place. Um, but yeah, let's just dive into it. Looks like it's about to uh, rain pretty good, so maybe we'll try to get this video done real quick before it rains. So I would say probably the biggest question that everybody has was, how did you know how did the paint hold up on the canvas? You know, did it crack? You know, how did it do? I can't remember if we did one or two coats on the canvas. I think we probably could have done another. I think that would have been better at the time. Didn't really want to like, you know, cake it on there. But I think another coat would have done better. But um, no, so the canvas is held up awesome. You can see that the paint, you know, it's super bendy. We didn't paint like the underside right there, but you can see that it's super flexible. It was stored for probably four months straight, you know, through the winter. We did not use it at all. All right, it's a couple weeks before the vacation and we're getting ready to open the camper up after being closed all winter long, all sealed up. So uh, we'll see how the, uh, see how the paint holds up. All right, that's the first time we've had it open since maybe like October, something like that. But here, check out the canvas. So the main thing I was worried about is, you know how like paint sticks together sometimes and it'll peel, but it didn't seem to have done that at all. Keep in mind, our canvas wasn't very nice from the get-go. I mean, that's why we painted it. But look at that. It's holding on pretty good still. The black paint, the black paint did great. Not really much to talk about there. One thing that I will say that I uh, that didn't hold up well is the paint on the vinyl so there's vinyl like on top of the roof and then there's vinyl kind of going down right here this strip the vinyl didn't stick too great to that you can kind of take your fingernail and you can scratch it it's just these two panels right here on the side i'll be honest i don't really care maybe another downside the lighter color that we went with on the body of the camper uh it's held up great no scratches you know not unless we did it but uh held up great the downside is it really shows dirt which i guess kind of thinking about it you know a lighter color will but the downside is the lighter color has kind of showed a lot of dirt you know if you scuff it it kind of shows right where it's at but um yeah that's pretty much it i did have a lady that commented i think she said that she looked it up and it wasn't 100 percent acrylic i don't know i'll be honest i looked it up on google I'll throw that on the screen. Um, it says 100% acrylic. I think it is. If it's not, I don't know. I'm just kind of going off of what Google says. I didn't really put that much time into looking into it. I just know that it's holding up pretty good on the camper now. Somebody asked me if we painted both sides. One second, my kid is out in the road. Play around here. Uh, one lady asked me if we did both sides of the canvas, even where the zipper was. Yes, did do both sides of the canvas where the zipper, you know, where the zippers are. You can see it's painted inside and outside on the canvas. Uh, and again, no cracking, nothing like that. We've had no issues on the canvas. The canvas is older. That is why we painted it. So we've got a couple more tears and things like that in the canvas. Um, I know what would fix that would be a whole new canvas, but again, that's why I painted it because I don't want to do that. Uh, again, it's just a little pop-up. We don't care that much, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the outside goes. Uh, let me walk you guys inside and I'll show you a couple changes that we did on the inside that, uh, you know, I'd advise you guys maybe not to do. This is all kind of stuff that like I know now that probably would do differently. The only thing I did differently, the only thing that I would do differently in the camper is, if you guys remember the AC setup that I had, that ended up being a piece of junk and a huge waste of money. Uh, it did not keep the camper cool. It, the problem with those ACs is it wasn't like truly pulling from the outside and it just, it wasn't good. It, it didn't put off much cold air. I would not go that route. Wouldn't go that route. That was a waste of like 400 something bucks. I don't know. What I would do is I would buy a cheap window unit, like 150 bucks is what this one was right here, okay? And then I would cut a big hole in your camper, 
and I would put the window unit in the big hole. Um, this thing is super nice. This keeps it so cold, it's quieter. Um, matter of fact, this thing makes it too cold in here sometimes and we have to turn it down. Whereas the other one couldn't even keep up at all. So that's the only thing I would do differently on the inside. Um, I just wouldn't do that type of AC. I would do I would do this. This was super easy to put in. Uh, I like this so much more. But yeah, everything else is held up pretty good. Um, he's bigger than he was in the last video, so that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any other questions, go ahead, put them in the comments on this video. Uh, happy to answer them. So, all right. Thanks, guys.